This is not the time to get distracted. This is not the time to go off course. This is not the time to lose your focus. You've got a work to do for the Lord. This is LaCora Stevens with EUR Web, and we are here at One Church International for the one and only Kevin LaVar. It is his pre-release CD concert. It drops August 12th, and you guys, you will be shocked at what he had to say about this album. Stay tuned. about your husband doing wonderful things for the kingdom of God. I am too excited. Yes. And I'm just excited too that my little baby boy gets to share in this. He made his first trip in the air so that he could be here with daddy. So we're excited. <laughs> it's called Your Destiny. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's really the heart that forgives of, 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 of this record. All you right. know, uh, you know, it really just says, regardless of where you are, regardless of how long you've been doing what you've been doing, you've been waiting. Um, when God makes a promise, he always makes it good. So hold on and don't let go. Uh, both records have purpose. And uh, I believe Let's Come Together did what it was supposed to do. And Destiny is going to do what it's supposed to do. So Now, my favorite song from you is A Heart That Forgives. Yes. Now, what is your favorite song on your new album and your old album? Uh -huh. It would have to be, with well, the old album, it would have to be uh, Heart That Forgives. Mm -hmm. uh, it impacted so many people, yeah. and um, it was a sleeper for me. I almost didn't even put it on the record. So that's Wait, hold on. Rewind. Why? I just, I, you know, it was, um, I had another song. I was kind of debating between the last the last spot uh -huh. on the record, and, um, you know, it, uh, it, was, it was vulnerable. It was vulnerable, and I think sometimes, as men, we don't always like to show, right. you know, and I got in the studio and thought I was going to be singing to encourage other people, and God started encouraging me, mm -hmm. and you could even kind of hear I do. towards the end on that record that I kind of almost forget that I was in the studio yeah. and started kind of just talking directly to God. And this record is very diverse. Uh, it appeals to a lot of different people, a lot of different cultures, and I'm really excited about that. I was going to say, you said it's very diverse. So if someone doesn't know who Kevin LeVar is and they, they hear, oh, you know, I heard of your destiny, what is it about your music that will pull them in? I think it's music that's going to touch your heart. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I really do. I think it's going to, God really gives us um, um, powerful words to go with the, the, the style, right. you know, and, and there's various styles. And, uh, but I think it's the content that mm -hmm. really penetrates the heart. And the fact that um, we bathe them in prayer, you know, um, even when I'm writing, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm praying line by line, you know, does this feel right? Is this supposed to be here? Right. Um, and sometimes it's a good line, but it's not a God line. Mm. It's a good lyric, but it's just not quite right. the God lyric for this song. Now, let me ask you musical influences. Who are they? Wow. Oh man, uh, Myrna Summers, uh, my godmother, who, I, who we, I traveled with along with my parents because they were in her choir mm -hmm. um, back in the day. Um, the Winans, of course, Marvin Winans, uh, you know, uh, the Winans, yes. all of them, uh, Commission, um, even Dietrich Haddon, um, you know, because he's been in the business, people know him for 20 years. Mm -hmm. On the secular side, Ray Charles, uh, Frank Sinatra, um, you know, I mean, it spans boys to men, Brian McKnight, you know, I, I grew up in that era. I believe that this record uh, is really not about me. It really is about the body of Christ. Um, and I believe that when this sound is released and when people hear this record, waters are going to break. When I say waters, I mean spiritual waters, people that have been pregnant with purpose and promise and destiny for years, some decades. Um, it's a time. And there's a time and season um, for everything under the heaven, everything under the sun. And I believe that this record, there's strength on this record and grace on this record to help people push out purpose. And that, honestly, is why I'm so excited about this record. It's not, uh, oh, because this is... Uh, uh, a, a CD for me to do. It's my second right. record. Mm -hmm. I, I'm I'm really not into this because of that. Um, I sing with, with a purpose. Right. You know, um, if if I'm not singing with a purpose, I might as well be doing secular music.